Have you ever wondered what's the difference between marketing and advertising? And when people talk about it, they use the words a little bit interchangeably. I am gonna answer that question today and teach you everything you need to know so that you will understand what your business needs, marketing, advertising, probably both. <gasps> Hi, I'm Amy Walker, small business strategist, speaker, and author, and today I am answering a really commonly asked question, which is what's the difference between marketing and advertising? So I'm gonna break this down today into five questions that are kind of sub-questions here. So number one, what is marketing? Number two, we're gonna talk about what is advertising. Three, there is overlap, so we'll talk about what the overlap is, and then fourth, we're gonna talk about the difference. And then last, I am going to tell you what types of advertising are best for small businesses, and um, what you should avoid, and what you should probably do. So if you haven't done it yet, make sure that you subscribe to our channel. I release new content every Monday through Friday, and um, we've got a good balance of business tips for sales, marketing, leadership, and also tips to help you be able to create better balance in your life and relationships. All right, now let's jump in and get started. The first thing that we wanna talk about is what is marketing? So marketing is actually a longer process than advertising, and advertising is kind of a sub piece inside of marketing. So I think marketing starts at identifying who your target market is, who is going to want to buy this product or service from you, and what's the messaging that they need, and what's the brand that you're going to establish, and then once you've got that, how are you going to gain visibility? Um, and then we go into, um, so we've got you know the, the who we're working with, the marketing collateral we need to create, then we go into um, visibility strategies, and then capturing a lead, getting their contact information, bringing them onto our home court, um, and then building and establishing a relationship with them so that they're ready to purchase. And that point of purchase is where you transition from marketing into sales. So marketing kind of has this long journey. I simplify this a lot with my clients and I just tell them that marketing is lead acquisition. So because otherwise what happens is people get caught up in a part of marketing and they get really wrapped up in it and the whole thing doesn't work. So for example, they'll get really caught up in branding, which is identifying who you're trying to work with, creating your graphics and your collateral and your messaging and all of that. And they'll spend a lot of time there and they'll call it marketing, but they never got to the point where they have a lead. Or they will spend a lot of time in advertising, which is getting visibility out there. Um, or they'll just try to acquire leads, but they don't have everything else they need. So I think if you put that overall umbrella over it, it's pretty easy to understand that marketing is about acquiring leads. And if you'll remember that, you'll be good to go. All right, the second question is, what is advertising? So advertising is the piece of the puzzle where you're getting visibility out and you're putting the word out and you're letting people see what it is that you have to offer. So this is where you're driving Facebook ads or Google ads or television or radio or flyers or direct mail. There's a lot of different ways to advertise, but advertising really is taking that message and pushing it out into the public. So it does involve messaging, it does involve creating graphics, which you know is also kind of in branding, um, but it's really telling that story over and over and over again, loud and clear, so people know who you are, they know what you're about, and they know what to expect from you, and they know if they're interested or not in your product or service. Question number three is where do they overlap? So if we look at that long scale of marketing, which is you know establishing who the client is, what's the brand, creating the collaterals, getting the visibility, acquiring the lead, nurturing the lead, getting them ready to sell. Um, advertising falls into kind of this middle section where it's about creating collaterals and getting visibility. And that's where advertising falls in. So it's definitely a piece of the puzzle. Now how they are different and this is really, I think, very critical, is that advertising in itself is not going to drive the entire process and actually take you to the point of sale, which marketing can 
you can market and acquire a lead, nurture the lead, and drop them right straight in from your marketing department to your sales department really seamlessly. And so you wanna make sure that you understand where they're similar and also where they're dissimilar. Now question number five is probably the question that you all really want to know about, which is what should you be looking at for advertising as small business owners? Um, because there are a lot of ways to advertise and there are some that I can't stand seeing people do and some that I think are great. But you know that you need to get visibility, you know you're gonna need to pay for it, you know you need to have a budget for it. So where should you actually put it? So let me tell you my list of things that I do not recommend for small business owners. Now, if you're a big ginormous corporation, I'm not sure why you're watching my channel because I really speak to entrepreneurs and small business owners, but this advice would be different for you. Um, but for small business owners, I don't like billboards. I feel like billboards are incredibly expensive and you have to change them up a lot. Um, otherwise they become white noise and stagnant. And billboard, billboards are great for brand recognition, but they're, they're not great for lead acquisition. And a lot of small business owners, what they really need is they need leads more than they need a name for themselves in the community. Um, so underneath billboards, I would also say advertising on signs, um, you know, sponsoring local sports teams and all that they do is hang up your banner. I just don't think those things really translate well for you. Also, I'm gonna put in there paid media appearances with an asterisk. <laughs> um, and so paid media appearances where you like pay to get a spot on the local morning show, it is great for exposure, it is great advertising, but if you don't actually have something that you're driving them to go do that's gonna acquire a lead for you, I wouldn't expect that you're gonna convert a lot of sales off of it. So if you went and you were like, I'm giving away a copy of my book, go to this website, enter in your information, I'll give you a copy of my book for free, and a lot of people go do that, that's totally different. That would be great because it could take it all the way through. Um, however, I also think you can get a lot of that uh, same media coverage for free if you just learn how to pitch the media. Um, other things that I wouldn't recommend that you do, depends on your season of where you're at, but radio and TV can both be pretty pricey. Um, and they require a lot of consistency. So if you're gonna really like plug in and say, I'm gonna do radio ads for the next year, I think that could work for you. But like just saying I'm gonna do one radio ad, I don't think you're gonna get enough bang for your buck for it to really be worthwhile. So let's talk about the um, advertising that I think works really well for small business owners. Facebook ads, um, pay-per-click ads, uh, YouTube ads, Instagram ads, I think all of these allow us to kind of pay as we go and so we don't have to say I've got a $5,000 budget. We could say I have a $100 budget that as soon as I get a lead that converts will become $150. That's okay to do in those forums and so I think they're a great place to pay for traffic. Also it's a lot more, it's a lot, a lot, a lot more um, targeted. You know, when you put an ad on TV, it's gonna be seen by anybody who's watching that station. And so it's not real targeted, whereas Facebook ads, YouTube ads, um, Instagram, uh, they're pay-per-click, they're just a lot more targeted, and I think that's really gonna help you out. All right, those are my tips on advertising versus marketing. If this was helpful for you, go ahead and type in and let me know that it was helpful. And if you have something you do for advertising that you love, tell us what it is. If you haven't subscribed yet, make sure you subscribe to the channel and hit that bell notification so you can get notified every time we release new content. And uh, if you'd like to join our private Facebook community, go ahead over to the CEO spot on Facebook. It's a great place to get connected with other like-minded entrepreneurs. Thanks so much for watching, everyone.